me a perk 10. That dirty girl keep calling me. This on drip drip thumb. Show boy, yeah. And show boy, oh. And, and we're, we're back, back with another reaction. Hey man, you see, we've been gone for a while. I've been posting stuff, but Romeo been gone, bro. Where you been? Oh, my dad's house. He was at the dad's, bro, but we back now, bro. Yeah, he been flaking, but we back. We coming with trying not to get scared. Hey, but it's five. It's what five ghost videos that should that should be banned on TikTok. So hey, this sounds look kind of lit, bro. Hopefully you don't get scared because I'm not trying to get into this. Let's get it. Let's go. Magic finger. Nice TikTok user. Right, let's get into this video. Let's go. Video I did about randonautica. So I saw this thing that a lot of people were doing on TikTok <laughs> called randonauting. It's an app that you download and it gives you a completely random location close to you that you go to and apparently it's supposed to be a glitch in the simulation or something like that. A glitch oh. in the simulation? Well that I kinda I kinda understand that bro. I kinda understand that's a glitch in the matrix, bro. And I start socking that. I'll probably start socking. So is there supposed to be a ghost over there or what, bro? Because I ain't trying to see some ghosts, honey. Let's see. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, I'm going to play a game. Oh, my God. You can't do that. Now, since this terrifying encounter in the woods... Matt Hall claims that he has had an even more horrifying encounter at his job. Matt says that late one night when he was working the overnight shift, a security camera at his work started beeping. Now, the security camera has motion sensors and only starts beeping when someone or something disrupts the sensor. Naturally, Matt immediately went to check the camera. Bro, do you guys see what this kid looks like, bro? He looks like he lies for fun, bro. Bubble head nation, bubble head nation, bubble head nation. This kid does not look like he's gonna sit there and, no, bro. That and that go is somewhere scary. Yeah. He looks scared in his own crib. He looks scared in his own house. Up, How do you think gonna go somewhere else and say he's not scared, bro? He looks scared in his own house, bro. bro look at that. No sense. Look into it. You can tell he's scared. Bro, come on, bro. That is tough. He was chilled to the core when he saw this. There's literally somebody outside, like, dragging a bag at my work. No, sorry, I'm just recording in case something happens. I, I can't see, I can't see his face. Where's he coming? He's literally running down to the door. Bro, doesn't it already record, though? Why are you recording two videos? Because I know that video thing already records. So that don't make no sense, man. But, hey, hey. Now it's running to the door. Let's see what happens, bro. Let's see what happens. He's coming up to the door right now. Not the door. Oh my fucking god. Get a gun! He's outside the door. Shit, so. Good. He's outside the door right now. No, there's nowhere to hide in here. I'm literally. It's just this one room. The door. Yeah, the door is locked, but. Get a gun! Bro, got no guns? You security! Yeah! You security! You told me you don't security, got a, security. You don't got a taser or a flashlight? You can sometimes have a gun! But you don't got shit! No, that's my uh Dabio. Dabio already got prepared for that, bro. Uh, yeah. hey, my hey, mom hey, would be the AK, hey, the AK hey, on this boy. Bro, now we have to cut that out, because why are you talking about that in the video? But sure. Cut it out then. He's like behind the building now. I don't, I don't. Can you just get here, please? Really? Let's talk about Fortnite. Calls nine one one to summon the police. While on the phone, he didn't call nine one one. He would have had no. Door CCTV camera records a man dragging what looks like a trash bag right in front of the building's exit. Matt says that the police came and searched the area surrounding the building, but they couldn't find anyone. Even more baffling, the garbage bag the man was carrying was simply stuffed full of old clothes. So was this encounter somehow connected to Matt's previous randonauting experience? Bro, you had old clothes for a reason, bro. Or was it you had old clothes for a reason, bro. You wanted to have some some clothes for a reason. I'm telling you right now. Overhyped 13 claims that he and his friends were randonauting when they were led to the middle of nowhere, a seldomly traveled walking path in the woods in Germany. They've pretty much given up finding anything. 
when they suddenly spotted a mysterious flower and a plaque on a tree. Okay, also, warte, warte, warte. Wir haben eine neue Intention gesucht. Also wir haben eigentlich ohne Intention gesucht. Er hat den Point angemacht. Und wir waren irgendwie so mitten im Wald. Ja, warte. Ja, der ist das der Radio. Wir sind halt direkt da beim Radio. Ja, wir haben Point. So they're trying to find somewhere in the woods, it looks like. Can't be too sure for these. Jetzt haben wir die Gegend abgesucht, also so kleiner so kleiner Weg. Wir haben die Gegend abgesucht. Hier ist halt nichts. Hier war halt nichts. Bis wir eine Blume gesehen haben. Ich filme das mal. Hier ist halt so ein Schild. Tilo. Guter Freund, Ruhe und Frieden. Das haben wir jetzt gar nicht gesehen. Aber was ist denn der Dichter? Das ist the 24th of july what date is it today <laughs> what language is that i can't see shit i can't even see anything okay, it cannot be a coincidence guys Red Ezer Overhype 13 says that after he did some extensive Google searching to find the man named Tilo, who passed away exactly two years ago on the exact spot where Randonautica sent them, he wasn't able to find anything. Overhype 13 believes that there is no way the Randonautica app could have known about the memorial sign that shared the same date as their exploration. And what time are they on? Are they on military time too? But maybe this should be these kind of things. Opposite of After watching many strange videos about the Randonautica app, she simply had to try it out for herself. The app gives her a location about a mile and a half from her home. So she travels there and documents her experience. The location she is led to is a secluded... So, uh, so, so you're telling me so when they give you an, an app, right? No, you download an app, right, and then it takes you somewhere, and I guess it's supposed to be a scary app, but it takes you somewhere, and you're supposed to follow directions. Would you follow the directions? No, that's stupid. Would you? I would even download that app! That's so stupid. Is your life really come down to something where you have to download an app so you can feel, so you have something to do in life? That's what stupid people do. Oh, this shit don't make no sense. Woody Creek, surrounded by woods. What happens next... Is downright chilling. Alright, so I think I gotta go this way down a creek. Alright, this one I found so far. Pretty creepy. I'm gonna go to see what that is. Okay, so I just opened up one of the photos and it's whatever the f that is. Then we have these random three. This so, one's so, like, so, it's so. your birthday. So you're seeing all these photos and you're still getting feeling more encouraged to go do more. What is wrong with people? Please wait, tell me, what is wrong with people? That's tough, my dude. If you think you can go there and do some shit like that, bro, you're an idiot, bro. The, the day you came out, you were stupid as hell, bro. Because what? What? Bro, how does that make sense whatsoever to keep going up? They with the snowman. And these two I just put together to like play with me. And... Alright, I think it was just my imagination. Why do you keep screaming? But trying to read these. It's just like she's hearing shit. Play with me. Oh! Oh! oh. Taylor oh. finds creepy drawings scattered all around the rocks that look like they have been drawn by a child. Then she hears the unexplained voice of a little girl and just runs. Oh, Johnny. When Taylor Vasquez posted her video to TikTok, her viewers suggested that the creepy little voice actually says, You hide and I'll find you. Play with me. Play with me. After That's definitely what it says, bro. Taylor returns to the creek three days later to find out. You return back? Bro, get the. And you're by yourself? You're so dumb, bro. At least bring a gun. The things people do for TikTok, bro. The things people do for TikTok is ridiculous. So mind controlling, bro. TikTok be mind controlling these people, bro. I feel like I should just grab them all really quick. If they have messages. You see what the people do for views, but these are the people that get more views than me. They, they, these are the people that get more views than me. I feel ashamed of myself. The God, so I have to do something stupid for me to get, for me to get some views? Yeah. That stuff, man. It might have to, bro. I might have to download this app and go out, bro. I'll vlog that experience, man, because that shit is ridiculous, man. God. Hey, so that, like, those look like symbols. I'm just going to let them go, so that I might need to see how 
of figure out what they mean. Maybe there's an angel. I'm too scared to say that one. I'm so fucking mad to us. I'm taking that too. I'm so grabbed everything. I don't really see anything else. The voice is there again, but it's now quieter, and Taylor doesn't really hear it at first. The soft little voice seems to say, you're not my family. You're gonna die if you don't go. They have messages on them, because then, like, those look like symbols. Taylor collects many more strange drawings that are scattered around the area. But then the voice gets louder and says, I don't really see anything else. You're like a little... Later, she posts her video, and when she reads the viewer comments, she makes another shocking discovery. Okay, so I don't have a lot of time right now, but I saw this comment and I'm kind of hyperventilating, freaking out. This is so fake, bro! Child in my video. No one was with me, and tell me if you guys think that. Why would you go alone or something like that, bro? You know. But I didn't know if she photoshopped it or not. So I went to my videos and I screenshotted the exact part that she shows right there. And I see the face too. And so now I'm actually freaking the f out. I'm super terrified. I don't know what to do. I didn't see anyone or hear anything until that voice happened, but it just sounded like an oh, echo. God. So I don't know. Can you? I don't know. You guys tell me what you see, but that right there looks like a f***ing face to me. I don't know. Now, what do you think Taylor caught on camera? Uh, is that's, really? um, that's, is it that's that one sure show they had been at the mall, and she's kind of crazy. Yeah. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. In 1886, the Catholic Crow Creek Reservation High School in Stephen, South Dakota. Oh, I've been there before. The been there before. The this is the camera. <laughs> has a very dark and creepy history. In 1886, the Catholic Church set up a boarding school for Native American children on... This is, this is like a prison. This looks like a legit prison. Look how they have the kids lined up. This, my kid will never be attending yeah, a school like yep. this in my life. This is a suicidal school right here, bro. My, this, look, half, bro, half these kids, bro. Look at their eyes, bro. All their eyes are open at the same time. Depressed. These kids are depressed, bro. This land, yes. and then basically forced the reservation children to attend. From the day the boarding school opened, the land seemed cursed. Crops and trees planted on the grounds wouldn't grow. Random unexplained fires destroyed many of the buildings. And the schoolhouse was directly hit and almost wiped out by not one, but two different tornadoes. But each time, the Catholic Church would simply rebuild the boarding school on the same ground. What? One of the school's darker stories involves a nun named Sister Wilhelmina Kaufman. On January 12th, 1888, during a blizzard, the nun left the school building to go to the laundry house next door. Even though the buildings were very close together, she got lost in the blinding snow and couldn't find her way back to hang the on, school. Hang on, hang on. The next. Hang on, you work at the school, right? The buildings are very close together, right? And you you got lost, right? You should know the path. If, if the school, you should be able to just go straight. Or and then if you don't can't find it, go back where you came from. Why are you going side to side to side like that's going to help you? Go straight and backwards. How do you get lost? How do you get lost if they're right next to yeah, you? Yeah, you can go straight to the laundry house super quick. Bro. This morning, her body was found kneeling in the deep snow. She had frozen to death only 100 feet from the school's door. Cut to modern day. People who live near the Crow Creek Reservation High School report seeing many strange and frightening things. It is said that the terrifying apparition of a nun can be seen roaming the grounds. And some claim that they have seen dark shadow figures wandering the school's hallways. C.J. Longcrow happens to have a friend that lives on the Crow Creek Reservation, right next to the allegedly haunted school. So not only was C.J. able to explore the abandoned building, but he spent the entire night right beside Why do people do school. this? Bro, well, I'll go for fun, so but like, stay in the night? You got me fucked. You got me messed school. up completely. I don't even know what that is. You can think I'll ever say that is. Even more bizarre. A floor full of dead birds. Holy f***. 
Those are dead birds. But even more alarming are the aggressive living birds and bats that have made their home inside the abandoned school. <laughs> Sounds like something moved down there. Okay, let's, go, let's do this one first. You said there was bats, bro. Oh, 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 oh that's a fucking owl, bro. That's a fucking owl. Are the doors wide open or something? They got owls, bats, Every, birds? Everything's wide open. Like the, like the, uh, like the, uh, what's called again? Oh. Those are right open. I forgot they're called. Those are super right open. All Yo, right I just want to get by. Fucking birds on crack, dog. Ah, <laughs> go, 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 go. After a few angry bird and bat attacks, the guys decide to finish up their exploration and just exit the school. But the creepy story doesn't end there. Now, as I mentioned before, CJ is sleeping overnight in a house that is right next to the abandoned school building. So late that night, while his friends are sleeping, he decides to take a walk around cap, the abandoned school cap, grounds. Cap, 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 It didn't go well. You don't ever go around. Everyone else is asleep. So. Cap. 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 Like, it's so creepy. Cap. 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 I just, I just can't. You <laughs> can't what? But it is pretty fing creepy out here, you know, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I mean, just look at this building. Oh, f Bro, 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 bro. He's out here casting a storm. Some, yeah, somebody, you see that? The window, somebody CJ was. CJ spots some shadows. Look, you're walking by the abandoned school's third story window. Oh. He freaks out oh. and runs inside. Oh, 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 oh that might be real. Asking him to join him to go check out the strange. That shadow. might be real. That might be real. Okay. Okay, this might be real. Okay. 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 The figure. What they find is truly bizarre. Okay, guys. So this is exactly. The windows are broken. Exactly. Where could I have gone though? It's exactly where the f I saw it. <sighs> I don't want to see inside there. It's kind of scaring me now, though. That's what I can Yeah. Maybe, uh... Now, even though the shadow that CJ saw seems to appear from one side and walk quickly past the window, there's just nowhere to walk. There's a concrete wall on one side of the window and a tiny empty janitor's closet on the other. So where now, did the shape go? Look at the ghost. Look at it. That was definitely a spirit ghost. I can't believe this one actually. The Crow Creek High School. You decide. It looks like a nun. You can check out black. CJ's full exploration video over on his YouTube channel, CJ Long Crow's Logs. Disappearing act. Reddit user Edgy Christendom says that he and his girlfriend were exploring an abandoned mental asylum in Baltimore, Maryland. When this happens. You visit an abandoned asylum? That's what they called it? They call it abandoned for a reason. Exactly. You don't go to those, bro. Why do people think that's a good idea? Why are you so stupid? Bro, like, people need a, need help nowadays, bro, because that shit is ridiculous. Man. Why would you even try that? That's tough. That, that's tough, for real. Like, who would even try that stuff? Bro, get, get back to the video, bro. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> Yo, this fucking place is crazy, bro. Really? Oh, mom's. I can tell. What? Where are you going? I swear I just seen something. I hope that was the win. I hope that was the win. I hope that was the win. Yo, there was a black shoe when it went by. hope that was the win, bro. Bro, what the f***? Just in time to catch a dark figure See, look, see, there's, the a, there's a leg when he uh, walked in. When he follows, there's no one there. Edgy Christendom doesn't see, necessarily look. claim that the video is anything supernatural, and he says that it could have simply been a homeless person living in the building. But if this was a person, then where did they go? Let me know what you think. That, yeah, that one, bro. Camp I nowhere. can't tell if these are real or not, bro. These the popular YouTube shit. Urbex channel, Exploring with Josh, <laughs> travels to what is rumored to be an abandoned summer camp in the Catskill Mountains of southeastern New York. Okay. The remains of the camp are in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by woods. 
Josh and his friends explore the mysterious side and Josh discover looks like the type to go check that out. You look like that, Josh. Got that nice bleached hair. You look nice, Josh. Good work. Operated for at least 15 years before being abandoned for unknown reasons. As Josh and his friends enter one of the decaying buildings on the property, they find a strange surprise. What you see, Josh? Yo. What? What the hell? This is creepy. Yo. This is a fine. For real. What the heck? Who did that? Some of stuff looks new, kind of, though. My children. Either satanic the or The walls are cool. The red. No, like the, the stuff on the walls. I don't know, guys. This is freaking creepy. Look at this. Dude, who really hooked all this up? Kind of cool. I like it. Dude, someone hang up, was hanging out masks up there. Yeah, so that these mask. Are, these are, um, obviously people, but that looks like the ring one. The grudge or the ring. Tell me not. That looks new right there. <laughs> yeah, on the calendar it says 2001. Oh, so it must have been abandoned in 2001. This is our okay. only trace at the moment. So, yeah, it is a little newer. It's a little newer. Timeline. The calendar on the wall dates all the way back to March 2001, so the camp has likely been abandoned for over 19 years. Josh splits off from his friends who are taking pictures of the abandoned buildings. While exploring alone, he finds a broken down RV. He goes inside to take a look and accidentally captures something chilling. At Fever Tree, we have a compromise. That I just saved, saved, saved you, eh? That I just saved you. Jeez. What do you see? What do you see? Well, there's nothing in here. The bed in the back. Yeah. They put a tire through the windshield. <laughs> I've seen enough. Did you see it? Well, Josh didn't either. But soon after he enters the RV, a mysterious small hand can be seen hitting the skylight oh. on the roof. Now, Josh didn't notice the unexpected. I see. So I thought that was a spider or something. posted his video to YouTube. His viewers were shocked. That was a big old hand. That's Some of them think that this could be the ghost of one of the children that stayed at the no, camp long ago. No, that hand was like a big old children. But no, what do you small. think? Yeah. Is no, this a ghost like accidentally small. caught on camera? That looks like an alien hand, actually. Of Josh's friends. Yeah, the way they're the uh, thing and they're if it is one of his friends, they certainly have tiny little hands. Watch your step. French paranormal explorer Oz from the YouTube channel Project, Project Activity <laughs> travels to haunted locations all over activity. France to investigate and record proof of the paranormal. In this episode, he investigates a house that is said to be extremely haunted. Well, what is a the house's owner, who wishes to remain uh, anonymous, par- says know. that both of her grandparents does. passed away inside the home. She claims that after she moved in with her children, she began to experience terrifying paranormal activity Such as? on a daily basis. What? 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 what Every what night it? when she would lie asleep in bed, you can't, she says you that can't she would say, be woken up yeah, by no a chilling noises. sensation you need to tell of us something what stroking exactly. and caressing her cheek. Even though the nightly event frightened her, she believed that this could be the spirit of one of her grandparents. Peacefully watching over her and her children. I heard that before. But then, one night, something happened that changed her mind forever. Just after midnight, as the woman lay sleeping, she was suddenly jolted awake by the feeling of her bed frame violently shaking. The entire bed seemed to levitate off the ground and then oh, seemed to be forcefully oh, thrown a few feet across the hang room. On, hang on, hang on. Her the bed got lifted Her bed got lifted up. She said it levitated off the ground and then she got through. Three, um, like, a couple feet away from her bed. What are you doing? But you need to meditate. What are you doing? Meditate? How's this meditate gonna do? Mm-hmm. You, you need to slap some ghosts. You need to snap some sins. Mm-hmm. I'm running! I ain't no running. I ain't no running. You stay with the ghosts. You stay with the ghosts. I'll stay there. I'll stay there. You stay there. I'll 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 stay She believed it was something much more dark and sinister. Something that might wish to harm her and her children. Okay, did you leave? The family moved out of the house the very next day. And the home has remained empty ever since. Paranormal investigator Oz from the YouTube channel Project Activity investigates the mysterious house to figure out just what is haunting the family. In his investigation, he uses some very unconventional tools. One of which is a small piece of paper you go by himself? inside a plexiglass box. How do you go by yourself? The idea is that no wind or air currents can move the paper inside the box. 
So the only way it can move is by something supernatural. Oz is setting up a second device in the same room, which I'll get back to in a second. I was also but a as he prepares, yeah. right behind him. Yes, he is by himself. Camera. Yeah, he put the camera down. Oh, it's music. And I'm speaking. So the only thing that can move that I think that would just move was the paranormal activity. The plexiglass box mysteriously moves on its own. Oz doesn't notice it continues setting up his second, rather unusual device, a theremin. The theremin is sometimes used as a musical instrument, but it can also be used as a sensor. The theremin creates a tone whenever someone comes close to the antenna on top of the device. This is a theremin, it's an electronic instrument. Uh -huh. You produce music or sound by waving your hand into an electrical field. Hey, something happened with the video, bro. So we got to cut it a little short. But that shit was scary, bro. I look, you got scared at the end. The beginning ones weren't that bad. But the end, that shit got a little oh, scary. That was like, they were Bow, and he got scared. Yeah, that thing got a little scary at the end, bro. And then the, 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 the last one, bro, 